tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Tremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, your co-host, Johnny Sos and Jason Outlaw. Tonight's guest, from Heshmani and Associates, Harvest Heshmani. From Boys in Tech, Damien Pelotoni. Musical performance by Martin K. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who can't vote because he's a felon, Mr. Jason Allen. For DJ Lenny Alfonso, let's hear it for him, huh? Yes. I can't vote because I'm a felon. I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you. That's that's good. That was good. That was good. So what do you got going on this week, Lenny? Uh, this week, well, I'm always at downtown cocktail room at the after after party at midnight. You can catch me at DCR, but uh, I've been doing a lot night Tuesday nights at Commonwealth. Oh, okay. And, cool. Uh, All right. Anyone uh, in in our live studio audience here, if you come see me by 10 o'clock, we give you three cocktails from 10 to 11. At, uh, yeah. at yes. Yes. Any Latin dancers in the house who can Latin dance? Anyone? Good. Me neither. Okay, solid. All right, All right ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jason Allen. Once again, give yourselves a round of applause for being here. We appreciate it. Ow! Ow! All right, and this is what's in the news. That's right. Um, it's actually today is a uh, very big holiday. It's Middle Child Day. That's right. But don't worry, no one pays attention to it. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. No one paid it. Damn middle child. Damn middle child. Um, last night was a sad night indeed. Kobe Bryant played his last NBA game last night. That's right. <laughs> I like Kobe. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's still like, ah, he had sex. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, it, he actually scored 60 points in the game last night. That's right, 60 points. That's awesome, yeah. Yes, yes. Which, which oddly enough, is the same number of strokes Lamar Odom had after his drug overdose. Oh! 60 of them, 60 of them. Did I get off? That? Is, that, is it time for the Oz already? I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah. The Golden State Warriors made NBA yeah. history last night, that's right, with the most season single wins in basketball history. That was 73 wins, which is the same number of basketball players who have railed the Kardashians. Oh. Yes, yes, that's the same number. It took you a bit. You got there, though. She got there. She was like, wait. Oh, God. OK, yeah, that's right, because they've all had sex. OK, good. All right, cool. Um, next up, Trump is uh, Trump's campaign manager was commenting on the potential lawsuit from a reporter that was grabbed by Trump's security when she was trying to ask him a question. And uh, when, when he was doing that, there was a huge feedback from the mic, which once again proves that even microphones are tired of hearing of Donald Trump. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, Sarah Palin is in the news. That's right. Sarah Palin has agreed to debate Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not like taking candy from a baby. Um, but, it, but you're going to be surprised because they're not going to do just regular scientific matters. The biggest issues, um, they're not going to go through religion. They're not going to go through global warming. But um, what they're actually going to be talking about is if she can actually see Russia from her backyard. <laughs> Thank you. All right, cool. Hundreds of CEOs moved their million-dollar conferences out of North Carolina over anti-LGBT laws. That's right. The Surgical Sex Change Conference will no longer be in North Carolina. That's right. They can't go in the bathrooms. They can't go in the bathrooms. That's right. <laughs> Trump, at a recent rally in Pittsburgh, said he would bring back Joe Paterno to Penn State. Yeah, that's right. So if he brings back Joe Paterno to Penn State, I will actually vote for Trump, because Joe Paterno has been dead since 2012. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But it is a possibility, because Trump has a way of affecting the dead. That's right. He already has our forefathers rolling over in their graves. <laughs> Just rolling. Just rolling. He can, he can do amazing things, right? Oh, yes, he can. I'm sure Washington's like, ah, oh, damn it. Um, a 36-year-old Minnesota woman was arrested yesterday for masturbating at a McDonald's with her son's Happy Meal toy. Yes, yes, yes. This has inspired McDonald's to release a new slogan. McDonald's, our food makes you want to have sex with yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I'm really loving it. Yes, no. I'm, yeah, he's, yeah, I'm really loving it. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. Uh, sure. Hey, we got a wonderful 
the show for you guys. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso. <laughs> Ladies and gents, thank you so much for coming through tonight. You know, you guys make me love Thursday more than I love Fridays. Yeah! Friday nights ain't got nothing anymore. Well, folks, tonight I'm going to be interviewing one of two partners from Halo and Attorneys located here in downtown. Let's go ahead and give it up for Parvis! Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I did not you? expect you to do that awesome. No. Well, it's a Persian name, that's why. Uh, and in case there's any racists out there, it won't let me on a plane. Well, I was getting more of a Mexican vibe, so. Yeah, you know what? I see that in you. Definitely? Yeah. Well, you got I am half Egyptian. The, you know, so. the pubes on the face. Oh, OK. Right? Got you. They look good. <laughs> they look good. I like them. Well, uh, let's stop beating around the bush, man. Uh, you do any pro bono work? <laughs> for you? Yeah, I'll do some for you. All right, yes. We'll give you a shout out too and do a commercial as well. OK, good Absolutely. deal. Absolutely. You know, Wait, what kind of case are we talking about? <laughs> Let's, you don't want to say, let, you don't let, say let, it on the air? How about a free consultation first? <laughs> but uh, let's just say... You know, I thought this was the free consultation. <laughs> <laughs> but a consultation's supposed to be private, man. Come on. All right. You know, hey, well, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, we got a little bit of a roster of uh, podcasts that have been 86 But, uh, you know, you know, from certain places around town. But I'm not going to get too into that because, uh, you know, this may or may not be our consultation. <laughs> So, but yeah, what are the 86 laws like, you know, what's a, give me a little rundown of that. Okay, well, uh, specifically 86 just means that a private business has told you to leave. Um, if they trespass you and you come back, then Metro can issue a citation for trespassing. But and that's a misdemeanor. they have to tell you? Yeah, you have to know. I mean, the law is pretty straightforward, right? Like, if you don't know you're not allowed back in the establishment, you can't get in trouble for coming back to the establishment. I think that doesn't make any sense. So there's not just some guy sitting in some office saying, I don't like his face. If he ever comes back, give him a ticket. Uh, like, they got to tell you. You know, they got to come up to you and say, sir, you've been trespassing. You didn't like what you were doing. Don't come back. OK. That's happened right, before. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can see it in his yeah. face. Uh, all right, to you know, go off in a little bit of a different direction. Uh, you know, I was at your office earlier, and I noticed that um, you know, I really, honestly, I really wanted to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you out front because it looked like a perfect little college. cottage. Yeah, it's neat, Excuse right? Me, cottage. And uh, a lot of law offices, just law offices downtown, they, uh, you know, they, they kind of get that vibe. Is, is that the way it's always been? Yeah, Vegas has got a weird legal row. You know, I mean, it's downtown 7th Street. It's a bunch of old houses. The house I'm out of was built in 1932. So it was one of the first houses built in Las Vegas for the settlers that came. And it's- That's a legit cause. Lots, in fact, you know, a couple years ago, um, a lady came in and she said, this was my grandma's house and I just want to look around. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a criminal defense firm. I don't know, it could be cops coming in, looking for, for stuff, so- it's trespassing. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, we run a tight shift there, but <laughs> anyways, it's been around for a really long time. It's really neat um, and I hope that it stays that way. I hope they don't demo it and put a whole bunch of high rises. I hope it stays quaint. How far back do you go into the law business as far as that goes? Because I remember you were telling me that it was even before you went to law school that you, know, you were actually working for, like, in the law business. Yeah, I mean, we're a law family. My brother's a lawyer. He's my partner. Uh, my wife's a lawyer. My, my brother's wife's a lawyer. My uncle's a lawyer. Um, law goes deep. I was a runner. That was my first job at 16, actually working in the building that I first opened my own office in. Really? So, yeah, it's kind of cool. We came like full circle. Thanks. You said it was right next door to your office that you're in now? Yeah, because uh, we grew out of that one. So we moved into the next one next door to definitely. get some more space. Yeah. So you're definitely well known around the neighborhood. That's your Yeah, that's like my that's, block. That's your block, man. Yeah, <laughs> I own the Seventh Street. <laughs> that's my. So um, tell me, uh, how far do you, you move to Vegas when you were how old? Uh, I was six when I came. Six and yep. where did you were you born here in the United States? Yeah, or? I'm from El Paso, Texas. Really? Which is I, you know, I'm actually from El Paso. Yeah, right, right on, on great. dude. <laughs> Chuco town, orale. Como estas, hombre? That's a little bit more Spanish yeah, okay. than I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, tell me, um, you know, going back into law, as far as you have, and um, you're telling me your first job was a runner. Yeah. 
Now, was that the re you were telling me earlier that you really liked the vibe that the law business and the firms and everything were given off, but w was it a little bit deeper than that? Is the reason why you got into law, because I noticed a lot more lawyers get into yeah. being a lawyer. Well, being a, being a runner was great because it opened my eyes to this field that I could get into, you know? So I'm watching all these other lawyers and they all look happy and they're smart and people respect them. And I thought, wow, maybe that's something I can do one day if I'm smart, you know? And the uh, problem was, as a kid, I was a troublemaker. So I didn't have a lot of opportunities available to me. But uh, I got in a lot of trouble once. Um, I don't want to go into detail about it, but I had a really good lawyer. He was just nice to me, nice to my family. Um, and he put my path, uh, you know, he switched my path over and I became a lawyer. And now I get to help other people and it's really cool. It feels yeah. good. I, I gotta say, um, that's a really touching story because I, I kind of have a similar background as far as that goes. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't have the same luck with uh, lawyers and judges and stuff like that. So yeah. I got to admit, when I was talking to you earlier in your office, I was a bit nervous. I was stumbling over my words, but that's only because I did have those bad experiences as a kid. I had those bad experiences, you know, dealing with lawyers, judges, and stuff like that. And, you know, it made me nervous well, being it, in your it, office. But you're such an easygoing person that I feel like, you know, you, you can really make a difference in people's lives. And I feel like you are the lawyer that can. I you feel know. like I have at this point. I mean, I've done. I have so many, do you remember all the postcards in my office to the right? So whenever some, I do a good job, I ask people to send me a postcard. Like people try to give me a tip. I'm like, no, I don't want a tip. Just send me something, a postcard. If, if I got you out of jail and you're traveling, go enjoy it and send me a postcard so I know that I did something to better your life. And I literally have hundreds of them all over my office. And I look at those and it keeps me going every day, especially when I'm working long hours and stuff. It's really so, touching. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I'm glad I never made it up there, but I'm glad that a lot have. <laughs> But uh, this segment's a little running a little short. Um, we're going to cut it off right now a little bit. We're going to go on to the next segment. Uh, Dylan's going to be interviewing boys from tech. And uh, if you guys are hoodlums like us, too, uh, definitely hit up Halo. Thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>
we became a recognized minority in the United States of America. Oh, yeah, look at that, yeah. Finally! Whoa. So, that, so what I... So um, not questioning queer. Oh, we were um, about the queer. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We, we don't blame you. We're new. We're totally new. We're new to the ball game right now. So there's a massive amount of advertising money that is being focused towards our community. And as we know, um, in the world of entertainment, the world that I work in, I, there's a lot of money being spent in advertising. That's my point. Yeah. And so it's being focused now in this niche, um, in this niche market. And they're Big ad agencies like in New York and San Francisco and Los Angeles and Las Vegas, they are targeting more than ever now the LGBTQ community. So what does this mean in terms of like content? What does this mean in terms of networks, in terms of TV shows, in terms of web shows? Well, it means that there's more money being funneled into the creation of these types of shows. There's more right. money being funneled to the influencers. Okay, so you see it as a growing bubble. Yeah, you can totally. Kind of be it's bigger fish in a small pond. Exactly. Now. Okay, yeah. so but I'm really curious about how you went about this because I know mm -hmm. obviously the cable TV is on the down, and it seems like everybody's watching stuff on YouTube. No but then all of a sudden, you sort of see this this real structure starting to come in, and I think you yeah. call it OTT. Um, yeah. Could you explain that and how? Apple TV yeah. and Chrome and everything yeah. is going to fit into totally. this bigger picture. So like OTT means over the top television. And if anyone is going to the NAB conference this week, you're only going to hear about live streaming, cloud, and over the top television. And over the top television is your Apple TV, your Chromecast, your Roku, um, your PlayStation, your Xbox, anything that is not your Cox, Comcast, or Time Warner cable box that is feeding you content that you are watching. Now here's what's interesting is what you're doing is you're actually watching this content through applications. You probably have a subscription to Netflix. Who in this audience has a subscription to Netflix, right? Who doesn't binge oh, well, watch it's bigger than I thought, actually. House yeah. of Cards? Who has a Hulu subscription? HBO Go or HBO Now, right? It's like this is this is what we're doing now. We're like oh, yeah. like screw the like seventy-five Makes to like sense. hundred dollar yeah. subscription broadcast model. Let's just pay like eight bucks, six bucks, ten bucks right. and get all the content I want. So as through, a developer, how yeah. do we take advantage of it though? I mean, do you have yeah. to call up Netflix and get these contracts with all of these big companies or how are you? Hell no. This is like so. what's happening right now is the democratization or the disruption like using disruption of Hollywood. Hollywood is literally, and I've been in this business for like 15 years. I used to be cuter and thinner and prettier. That's why I was on the Gilmore Girls. Now oh, I'm not. Oh, Cookie, you're looking good, man. It's a lot of Botox. This is a lot of uh, cover up and a lot of man spanks. Um, but um, only the women. Yeah. Only the women get that that reference. Double man spanks. Um, leave that out. I don't know what that is. Man spanks is like it's like huggies for your like gut and your stomach. Oh, it pushes the fat up to the yeah. pecs. It's like a girdle for yeah, a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sold. Yeah. Do you sell these? I don't, this but I need an right? endorsement. I need an endorsement. Okay, I okay, buy a lot of your product to hide the unsightly yeah, Italianness. So what is really happening right now is that we're seeing like these tiles, these applications literally turning itself upside down, and that all of these networks essentially are going to be subscription based model um, networks that essentially we're all just going to pay like a flat fee to and we're not going to be using broadcast. Broadcast is dead, and I will say this, I'm like the elephant in the room, dead outside of sporting events and um, award shows like the Oscars. Right. That is the only reason why we will use live television. But as things like live streaming comes into play, and Facebook Live, we were just Facebook Living like oh, earlier. True, yeah. How cool was that? People were popping up out of nowhere. We were commenting. We I was like, yo, what's up? There's like very, 12 people. Very Periscope like. I like that. Yeah. But it's going to kill Periscope. And this is the new thing that's happening right now is live streaming. Companies yeah. like Make TV. Make TV is a really cool yeah. Yeah. German company. And Make TV is working with companies like Al Jazeera. Make TV is working with. Um, you know, the Swiss Broadcasting Company, LinkedIn, um, Viacom, and what they're doing is they're basically taking the world of like content and turning it upside down and putting it in the hands of you guys because nice. everyone has yeah, true. a smartphone which shoots in 4K or 1080p, which is actually faster than your television network <laughs> can can shoot in yeah, HD. True. Yeah, we have to down we have to down compress our show just to get it to Cox. It's interesting. Oh my God. Okay, so we're about out of time. So I want to make sure okay. we're, we're about to play a game in a minute. We're going to bring you out again for a game. But before then, I want to make sure we talk about you have a kind of a web film festival coming up. Yeah. Um, Talk about that. Oh my God. So WebFests are like the biggest new thing in the world. They're popping up. Yeah, Las Vegas has a WebFest. They program viral videos, content, short form, right. web series, YouTube influencers. That's a good way for them to get involved. Yep. They have totally, ideas yeah. for good content. Yeah, it's, the new, it's a new indie film festival. And OutWebFest, and go to OutWebFest.com, is the first LGBTQ web festival 
in Hollywood, and it's at it's on May seventh, Saturday, May seventh, at the American Film Institute, and our closing night party at the W Hollywood. Great, like like networks and studios, producers guild, start out, uh, International Academy of Web Television, um, Creator Up, like big organizations sure. that are going to be part of this. Better and go. then the last thing, yeah. if I can just say this really quick, because I'm watching the timer <laughs> right there. They're like, screw you, red light, blinker, get off the stage. Boys in Tech, my show. Go to boysintech.com, big YouTube yeah, show, course, right. which I'm so excited to say we signed with Broadband TV, and we are going to be on a new LGBTQ news vertical called outspeak.tv. There's a lot of like outs and TVs, um, which is powered by the Huffington Post and AOL. So yeah, my, give it my, up. my show yeah, is going HuffPo and yeah. AOL. Well, we're going to bring you excited. back out here in a minute to cool. test your skills you. about TV. So give it up for one more time, and next time we see you. It's game on. Game on. Welcome back. We've got our wonderful guests and our hosts here to play a game. That's right. So since we had a lawyer on the show this evening, there's a lot of laws out there that um, have uh, lived, outlived their, their time. Okay? So, uh, so these are laws. It's a little game called Laws That Make No Sense. <laughs> That's right. So the, there's going to be four things that pop up on the screen, uh, A, B, C, and D. One of those things will be an actual law. Okay? The other three will not be, and it's up to you guys to pick. All right. Kicking this off, first thing first. All right. <clears throat> is, there, is this a law? No eating dead frogs in California. Maybe. No eating dirt in Las Vegas. No eating alligators in Minnesota. Or no eating flamingos in Florida. All right, what do you think your boyfriend would say? Uh, you know, it's funny. I'm going to have to go away. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with the non-lawyer first. The non-lawyer. The non-lawyer. Because I'm a foodie, and I know foie gras was like outlawed in California. I don't know if it still is. So I'm gonna say A. You're gonna say A. Wow. All right. That was pretty in depth. That was good. All right. And, and uh, lawyer, what do you say? Well, you know, we're gonna say D. D. Yeah. No eating flamingos. What? All right. That one got there collapsed. You got two. All right. All right. And is the, the answer is the flamingo the obvious one. Probably. <laughs> and the, Everyone's like, probably. yeah. And the answer flamingo. is with flames. No eating dead oh, frogs no! in California. That's right. One point right there. Very well done. Wow. Awesome. All, All those right. years eating frogs. All those legs. years eating frogs. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, here's they were here's our fast. next question. Which one of these is an actual law? No mud wrestling in Indiana. No, that's no pro common. wrestling in Spokane. They'd probably give you money for that one. No dwarf tossing in Florida. <laughs> okay. No women in bars in Texas. Well, I bet definitely C. not D. I bet it's C because dwarves uh, probably a dwarf C. got tossed, and dwarves uh, have a lot of rights. <laughs> they have equal rights with everyone, so they like probably. Uh, dwarves do have equal rights, believe it or not. I think because the dwarf has no. a human. You know what? I'm gonna actually say that. Spokane. All right, so now, yeah, now we are oh, going to uh, defer right from there. to, uh, to, to okay. the, the loser of last round. Who, who uh, right. do you say? Uh, we're going with no dwarf tossing in Florida. Dwarf oh, tossing dang, in Florida. Okay. So all right, all right. Okay. And you guys say? Uh, B, no pro wrestling in Spokane. <laughs> all right. Okay. And the answer is? Be clear, I'm on their team on this one. No dwarf tossing oh! in Florida. That's right. You cannot so toss a dwarf. Keep that in mind. When you're in Florida, no matter what they say, you can't. Dwarf right, humans, cool. man. They'll come All right, so. Here is it's our next set of That's like a thing. <laughs> yeah, Can it's... I just say something? It's, the reason we have laws is because people do it. So yes. that means it was happening so, so much. <laughs> so oh, we put an end to this. Oh, You're saying these it's were just made up by drunk lawyers. This, this is, is just put into perspective by the lawyer. <laughs> this is it's like, right. people actually did this, I guess. All right. Actually, so. I never thought about that. Yeah, that's... There's no pantomiming in Kansas. <laughs> no funny fake mustaches <laughs> in an Alabama church. Wow. No hipsters in Reno. No bad breath in Colorado. Uh, Reno would be more popular if that was true. What do we say? Um, well, that's a hard one. What's your gut? What's your, what's your gut instinct? I, I mean, bad breath is. Uh, yeah, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with maybe A. 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 All right, you guys a. go with A, and what do you say? Oh uh, well, that was ours. Are we allowed to take the same? Okay. Oh, no, the loser you gotta gets go opposite. The, uh, loser oh, gets wow. to go first. You guys went loser first. Loser goes yeah. first. Oh, wow. yeah. Uh, we'll go with you want to do. Yeah, right. we're gonna go with B. You no funny fake mustaches in no an funny Alabama fake church. mustaches in an Alabama church. And the answer is, is no funny oh! fake mustaches in an Alabama church. Oh! Cannot do that in an Alabama okay. church. Keep that in mind. Yes. See? Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. So if it's Movember, grow it yourself, right? All right. Cool. All right. So 
Here is another one. You cannot get drunk at a bar in Alaska. Okay. No. You can't have a green door in Michigan. You can't eat lunch on a park bench in Wyoming. You can't look like Dylan two years ago in Nevada. Ah! That is Dylan from two I years ago. I was gonna ago. ask the audience for advice, <laughs> but I don't even want to ask him anymore. Is that really your oh! Look at those oh, highlights, that is man. Amazing. Look at those highlights. You know, I saw Justin Timberlake do it 10 years ago, and I grew up in Utah, and we don't, we're behind the, in Utah, this flies longer than you I just think. gotta throw this out there. I was not with the podcast back at that time. Oh, Otherwise, I would have advised him otherwise. That's, that's but really bad. <laughs> when I, I was looking oh. at some of the old episodes and I saw that, and I was like, that is amazing. The world needs to see this. Yeah. So there's Dylan, yes. Yeah. Give it up for Dylan's hair. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Dylan's hair. Man, I don't even care about this. And right that's now. what I'm gonna be for <laughs> Halloween Dylan's hair. All right, cool. Great. So back to the game. So you cannot get drunk at a bar in Alaska. You can't have a green door in Michigan. You can't eat lunch on a park bench in Wyoming. Or you can't look like Dylan two years ago. I'd, I'd like it to be known I've never been to jail. <laughs> so I think you can count out D. Okay, D is All right, out. So. D is out. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say B. B. Green door in Michigan. I have friends like from B? Michigan. Green door in Michigan. All I right. Have Michigan. I'm sorry. I hope you didn't paint your door green. All right. So they've got two. You guys have one. This is for the tie or Audience, the win. What do you, what guys do you say? say? We're gonna B? go with we're gonna go with C. You can't eat lunch on a park bench in Wyoming. All right. All right. And the answer <laughs> is. You cannot Whoa. get drunk at a bar in Alaska. That is right. Yes, indeed. It's, it's a true thing. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, go figure. All right. Hey, give him a round of applause. Very, very well done. Awesome job. That is our game. And, of course, our lawyer is the winner. That's yeah, right. Our lawyer, lawyer wins two to one. Very right, good job. All right. We'll be back game. momentarily. So kick back, relax, Pleasure, yeah. and enjoy. Thank How about another round of applause for our guest? Wonderful game. Yeah, that was great. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Broadway show emulating Jerry Lee Lewis, the Million Dollar Quartet, Martin Kay. Yeah! Woo! Thank you for having me, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. So I was on the plane and I wrote this song called Play For These People, and it was really just my um, inspiration uh, song, my This Is My Dream. I'm, my dreams are hopefully gonna come true from this move, so. This is called Play For These People. It goes like this.
up to good old Las Vegas Fate is in her hands I wanna play Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Martin K. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our live studio audience, to all your podcasts at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night at 9 p.m. right here at the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street. Party with us for the after party on the rooftop. And hang out with me for the after after party midnight at the downtown cocktail room. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Downtown Podcast. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. Peace, love, be kind to one another. <laughs>